Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, I'm going to show you a very easy to use and simple video editor that is very good for beginners. Of course, you can use this in Windows. And the video editor that we're going to talk about in this video is called Filmforth. If you enjoy videos like these, where I show you different little software that you can use to do tasks in Windows, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, you can download Filmforth from their official website you're going to have a download link in the description below or you can even download it from the microsoft store so just download it for free and then open the software up to see how it looks as you'll see the software has a really simple and intuitive interface in the left side you have other apps that they recommend and also some quick tools that are integrated into the software so for example reverse video trim video stabilize video extract mp3 and rotate video you can go through all these but i'm going to create a new project and you can click on this drop down to select the type of project that you want to create. For example, I'm going to create YouTube 16 by 9 and then click on new project. Now you can click on add video slash photos to edit them up. I'm going to add a video. And as you can see, this is how the software looks. It has a very nice interface. And as I've said, very minimalistic and simple to use. We have here the timeline of the video and we can go through it to see different sections of our video. And for example, if we want to cut something, you can just click on the split button and then go into the location where you want to cut it. And then we can split again and then delete the part that we don't want by clicking on the delete button but we also have the trim section where we can trim a certain portion of the clip which is also really nice if we select a clip we can control the speed of it so now it's the normal speed but we can put it at 2x for example and also we have the volume we can increase the volume and also add a fade in or a fade out effect to our video or audio also if we select a certain clip we can detach audio and have two separate tracks to see also the audio and and also the video and maybe we can resynchronize the video and so on if we click on a audio clip we have different options of course then a video clip we also can crop the video so for example we're not happy with how we filmed it we can crop it using the original ratio or we can put a custom ratio if we want and then click on ok once we're happy with how we cropped the video we can also transform the video so for example we can rotate it we have a scaling thing that we can use that's also really nice we also have the options to flip or freeze frame and also duplicate which will add another video clip the same as the one before next to it and also the player up top here is really really nice and of course here on the tracks you can always add more music more clips and if you go in between two clips you have this button which says transition and you can add a transition for example gate open H you just need to wait a few seconds for the transition to be applied and then you can see the final result after if you click on the play button and then you're gonna be able to see the transition playing in your video Video. as you can see it here if you want to add text to your video simply click on this button then you can click on add text input your text you can input your text by double click on the area for example let's input the text tech based and in the left side as you can see you have a lot of presets alignments fonts colors drop shadow and more that you can customize here once you're happy with the text you can also reposition it on your desktop on the video as easy as that and in my opinion this editing software has all you need in order to begin editing videos for tiktok or youtube you have all the necessary basic functions to edit a successful video and once you're happy with the video you can click on save video and now you're going to be able to select the resolution for example i'm going to select 1080p and then the video quality to be the best and also the frame rate to 60 frames per second you can also click the more settings button to see also the audio quality and can use hardware accelerated encoding now you can click on export a video and select the location where you want it to be exported and then click on save the exporting process will start as you can see here it may take some time depending on the length of the video and also on your computer's components once the video exported you can see it in the location where you exported it of course and you can also save the project if you want it to be saved and we have the video here that we've just created and we can open it with windows and see the edits that we've done we've cropped this video we've added a transition between two clips as you'll see in a few seconds you're going to be able to see the transition that we've applied a few seconds ago in our edit you can see here the transition the fact that we flipped the video and also in the first portions of the video you can see the text that we've applied so i think film forth is a very easy to use video editor that you can try out in windows and i think it's a very good alternative to expensive video editing software that is really easy to use for a beginner. As I've said, the download link will be in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.